Douglas MacArthur was born January 26, 1880 in Little Rock, Arkansas after two brothers. Douglas MacArthur's mother Mary was an ambitious woman in Douglas's life and influenced Douglas to join the military. Douglas graduated from West Point in 1903 with the highest honors in his class and spent the next 10 years as junior engineering officer, later an aide following these 10 years with another four working as general staff. After serving time in Veracruz, Mexico, Douglas became chief of staff, brigadier commander, and the divisional commander during combat operations in France during World War I and kept this position during the Rhine occupation that followed. Douglas had several achievements during the 1920s, such as initiating far-reaching reforms while being the superintendent at West Point, serving on William Mitchell's court-martial, holding two commands in the Philippines, and commanding two U.S. corps areas, and finally becoming the head of the 1928 Olymp American Olympic Committee. After seven years of reaching Brigadier General in 1918, he soon reached the rank of Major General and soon later to General when he was selected as Army Chief of Staff in 1930. Douglas contributed the next five years as head of the military to preserving the strength of the army during the Great Depression. Two years later, in mid-1932, Douglas was widely criticized for sending regular troops to expel the bonus army of veterans from Washington. Moving forward from 1935 to 1941, Douglas played a large role as the Philippines' military advisor and field marshal, but retired from the U.S. Army after two of the six years in the Philippines, serving the last four only to a civilian capacity. Even though Douglas had retired from the military, he was recalled to active duty in July of 1941. He, was, he conducted a valiant delaying action against the Japanese in the Philippines after the war had erupted in December, and a year later he was ordered to Australia to command Allied forces in the Southwest Pacific Theater. He soon launched an offensive in New Guinea that ended with the Japanese retreating out of Papua. From 1943 to 44, Douglas, along with his troops, was successful in taking strategic points in New Guinea and capturing Admiralites in western New Britain. With the simultaneous northward movement, MacArthur maintained strategic control and neutralized the ball and ended by bypassing many Japanese units. And later, Douglas won the decision to invade the Philippines next, rather than Formosa, and with that decision, Douglas attacked Morotai, Lete, and Mindoro in the autumn of 1944. A year later, Douglas took on the costliest operation during a 7th month Luzon campaign, and that same spring he also took on the task of retaking the southern Philippines. Meanwhile, he left the difficult mop-up operation in New Guinea and then the Solomons to the Australian Army. Once again, he was promoted to General of the Army and very soon after became commander of all U.S. Army forces in the Pacific four months later. Douglas MacArthur contributed heavily to the direct demobilization of the Japanese military forces, the restoration of the economy, and the drafting of a liberal constitution. It's because of Douglas MacArthur that America was able to hold its military together and help fend off Japanese forces.